Can anyone here lay your burden down like we talked about? Does anyone here have a problem not picking that burden back up? Over and over and over and over and over and over again. Well, God is a God of possibilities. God is a God of infinite wisdom and infinite ways to help us to carry those burdens for us. This is the first Sunday of the month, and at each first Sunday, we take a moment to remember those who are living with HIV and AIDS and those who have passed. And this Sunday, we also light this candle for those who are recovering and who have suffered from the ravages of the floods and the hurricanes. We remember our sister churches and the businesses and the homes and people who are digging out from the floodwaters. We particularly remember our sister church, M Resurrection MCC, who has suffered two floods in the last 10 years. And they are worshiping today, uh, even as we speak, in a building fondly known as the Ark, which has survived two floods while their sanctuary is being and will be redone and their offices and their chapel and all of the church that was flooded. We remember, we bring to mind those who are in need. Let us light our candle. Remember those saints that have gone on before us and that most recently our memory of Reverend Dolores P. Berry, singer and evangelist, such a gift and a blessing to this congregation and MCCs and people all over the world. Remember those of our loved ones who have gone on, bring them to heart, bring them to mind, for it is in you that we get to know them. Share them with us. We are the hands and the feet, the eyes and the ears and the mouths and the signs of the God of our understanding. Let us go to God in prayer. God, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace. Thank you, O oh God, for the ways that you are real to us. We pray, O oh God, that you would give us the strength, give us the fortitude, give us the life, O oh God, to serve you in any way that we can, to serve each other in ways that are meaningful and important, and help us to keep our strength up, O oh God, for there is much of the journey to travel. Gracious God, thank you for your love. And thank you that we can pray to you anytime with our gifts of thanksgiving, with our gifts and our trials, our joys. We can bring it all to you. Help us to lay those burdens down and leave them with you. We pray in your many precious and holy names. Amen. And the song that came to heart um, from yesterday's, you hear it sung at some funerals, and I would like to, <laughs> in the memory of Reverend Dolores, just switch it around a little bit. <laughs> um, when we go up yonder, there's a song that, if you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going to, I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder. And it's a song about the great beyond. And I would like to encourage us that it is a song about now. It's a song that when we go out yonder beyond these walls, we have work to do. We have work to do to let Jesus, let the God of our understanding live within us and work within us. We have work to do. So join me in tapping your toe, and clicking your fingers 
in being in your heart. If you want to know where I'm going, would want us to do what would Jesus want you to do we don't have any idea what Jesus would do but what would Jesus want you to do in this world if it's sending money to Texas send money to Texas if it's standing on the corner of fifth and ridge then stand on the corner of fifth and ridge and talk to somebody if it's planting if it's weeding if it's doing whatever you do if it's cooking if it's singing if it's reading do that if it's preaching, do that. If it's talking to a neighbor, do that. God loves you. God has plans for us as a community. And those plans are inside and outside the walls of this community. So I encourage us to go up yonder. Not just go up yonder. Go up yonder with your Lord, with your Savior with the God of your understanding. Amen.